Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today we've got our first experience with a Tom Sands guitar, all the way from England. Now, this is quite a special one. Now this is actually a model that Tom doesn't build a whole lot of, but this is what he calls the Model L, which is his version of the modified Dreadnought in the Samaji vein. Now, I love the proportions of it. I love how squared he's kind of come up with his bodies here. They just, a little, they're a little more angular. Um, now, this one actually features a master grade Swiss top on it. And man, when you, when you tap on it, it just has this really low rumble to it. it it's quite unique. But as you spin it around, look at this absolutely luscious set of Madagascan rosewood, specifically Dalbergia Baroni. Thanks for that, Tom. Um, now it's bound all the way around with ebony mm. with this maple purfling, which he has just nailed these miter lines all the way around. It is just so, so lovely to see in person. Now, as we flip it back around, you might notice it's a fan fret. Um, this is a really comfortable one, even though it's a full inch fan. Oddly enough, you don't notice it too much throughout the fretboard when you're playing it. So it's actually 25 scale length on the treble and then 26 on the bass. So when you have it tuned down to C, it just, it thumps so lovely. Now it does have a Krelichem Ebony Bridge fretboard and head cap here that were all cut from the same board to kind of unify the, the look. Um, also, he did this really, really symmetrical etched copper rosette, which I just, I got lost staring at this thing because I have no idea how on earth he was able to get the spacing of these lines so perfect and symmetrical. Um, I'm convinced he's not human. Now, as you look down the side of this Krelikum ebony fretboard, it has those gold pipe, or they look more copper pipe dots here with red inlaid into the center of it. And it goes all the way up and there's actually a fretboard extension here that goes into the sound hole that gives you a full 24 frets. But what I thought was quite unique is on the inside of the tip of that fretboard extension, he put a dot right at the 12th fret. And what I particularly love about that is that helps you immediately find where your second octave harmonic is. So if you need to reach down really quick and find it, it's right there. It's, it's awesome. Um, now, another thing that I was quite pleasantly surprised is the feel of his neck. It is a very even flat C on the back that's kind of rolled through the binding all the way up and down that way. So you can wrap your thumb if you need to, or you can plant your thumb on the back and actually have a almost a flat surface to not scoot around back and forth. Um, now it is wider up here. It's actually one point, uh, yes, 1.82, which is just about 13 sixteenths up here at the nut. Um, so it is kind of wide spec for finger style, not the most flat picking forward instrument, but you could if you want to. This is by far one of the most balanced sounding modified dreadnoughts. <laughs> I've ever experienced. There's plenty of low end growl and rumble and kind of that subwoofer bass like effect. But there's a little more balance all the way across the spectrum of the century. That and it it just rings forever. Now, let me not forget to mention that the back half here is also a uh, Dalbergia Baroni or Madagascan Rosewood cut off from this same set. So again, with the unified theme and grain color and texture there. Now, 
for the tuners, we have Scheller tuners from Germany, which are incredibly smooth. They're very unique looking, and they um, they really stand out as one of the, the kind of newer tuners that I've come across in this boutique scene. But it doesn't matter what this thing looks like to me. This is one of my favorite sounding guitars that I've demoed here at Cedar Rock. It's very special and unique. So don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. So if you've got any other further questions about this very special Tom Sands Model L, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. And thanks for listening. Thank you.